Wisemore Campus, the £64 million new development of Warsaw College. LEC funded it is said to be the centrepiece of the transformational regeneration of Warsaw. As students here we felt we had to find out what people thought of this state of the art learning environment. So we spoke to three students and to two staff to find out their thoughts. Do you feel the college has lived up to its expectations? I think it had the potential to be so much better. I mean, it hasn't used its space as well as it could have. In what way would you improve the college? I'd probably shrink the atrium, uh, use some of that space to make extra classrooms, perhaps make another campus possibly. It's smaller than the old campus, so there's even more students than there were before. What were your first impressions of the college, the first time you saw it as a completed building? Visually, it's, uh, it's very nice to look at. But once you really get into it, you find that, you know, as I've previously stated, it's a lot smaller. How do you feel about moving to a new campus? Um, it's very nice, you know, it's a very nice campus, but it's not quite as nice as it as Shelley Campus. There's a very nice homely feel there. Air conditioning needs a bit more improving. Computers, there have been a few problems with them recently. I was quite disappointed actually because it's very crowded. Um, I think it seems more like a nursery than a place of education. I changed the colour scheme. I'd have added a massive extension because it's too crowded. Yeah. Oh no, and a bigger common room. That's it. Do you feel it's spacious enough for what is required? No, definitely not. In um, the Apple Academy and in the classrooms, it's all very like, claustrophobic. I was excited to meet new people, but everyone sort of sticks to their own. No one's willing to like go and interact with other people. Do you feel comfortable being in a new and bigger building and being mixed with students from elsewhere? Um, break times and lunch times are quite awkward, to be honest, because there's never enough space in the cafeteria. Then you can't stay in the classrooms, the common room's cramped. There's nowhere to go, you feel sort of lost, I'd say. Would you change anything about the campus in, you know, in, internally? Would you sort of change the way it's laid out inside? Change the colour scheme or something? Yeah, definitely. I'd um, get rid of all the bright colours, I'd go for something like... The logo is red, so I'll go for like reds and browns, them sort of colours, um, make it match with the white walls, and I'd like make it more spacious if possible. Has this campus changed your views on education and learning in general? Do you think the atmosphere is different to school? I don't think there's a big change. I think boys are still immature as they will be, and I think the girls are still quite in an element of loving themselves, sort of thing, which is not very good to be around, to be honest. I make it a bit more spacious, it's really cramped. More classrooms, more computers, because there's always a struggle to get computers. They tend to be either really cold or really hot, and everyone's always moaning. So. I think from the outside it looks really impressive, but when you get inside it's a bit disappointing. <laughs> it's really big change from our little campus that we're at to this campus. It's good in the social way, but a lot of the people don't seem to want to mix and interact with us, so not really that much better. It's quite strict here, so there's a, there's a lot of rules and regulations to live up to, so it makes it not as fun, I guess. It's different to school, it's a lot more mature, but there is still a lot of rules and regulations. How long have you been employed at Warsaw College? Just over four years. Um, do you feel Wisemore Campus has lived up to the public and students' expectations? I think in terms of the look of the campus and the feel of it, the aspirational feel that you get in, it's very different what people are used to then yes I think we're still working through some of the practicalities of how we use it because it's so different to both samples and Shelley. Are there any aspects of the college that you feel need improvement? If so what? I think generally no I think we're working on very small aspects now which is to do with delivery what students feel how staff feel because it is so different to before so we're looking at how the atrium works for students, how certain classroom works, do we need more IT, whether the learning decks have worked how we wanted them to. So it's more about refining what we've got rather than changing things. Did the 
college stick to his financial budget? Yes, it came in on budget and on time. Do you feel the college is spacious enough for what is required? I think yes, we just need to make sure that we use the space effectively. And we have had more students come to the college, I think because of the building, it's so new and different. So we have had to look at how we use the space inside more effectively. And that is in terms of the size of classrooms, the number of students in rooms as well. Are there any local businesses or organisations you would like the college to be associated with? I think we're starting to work with a lot of local businesses and organisations that we want to. We get emerging links with the hospital, we've also got a new build. The Primary Care Trust, the Walsall Football Club, um, we're working more closely with Walsall Council and the housing groups. It's good to work with those big partners which we haven't done before. But we're also working with a lot of small businesses through train to gain and employability training as well. And what were your initial impressions of the college when you first saw it completed? I think walking in from the front, I think there is a wire factor the first time you walk into that atrium. It's so different, it's more kind of like hotel feel or airport feel. It's, it's new and exciting and vibrant. How do you feel the staff and students have coped with the transition from St Paul's campus to Wisemore campus? I think it's been quite a big change for everybody. I think one of the biggest changes is on this campus you actually see students. Before, I don't know if you spent any time at St Paul's, you didn't see them there. Uh, they were all down corridors. So I think getting used to having students in open space, sat around on computers, I think that's been a big challenge for us. And behaviour of students as well, because you're in, out in the open a lot more, people can see what you're doing. So I think that's been a challenge for us, but I think we're getting there with that, it's a lot calmer. Um, I think staff, the biggest challenge is being in a different environment, being in big staff rooms and also using new equipment, new technologies. That's been quite a big drive for us in the run-up to the move. Um, did the college remain on schedule for completion? We did, yes, on time. I've worked at Walsall College for many years. Originally my role was to support teaching and learning on as a technical support person uh, in 1990. At the Art College, then it became the Technical College, most of the Art College. But I've been head of school for about five years. I think there are things that still need to be addressed. I think that's inevitable though in such a grand scale building and such a, a large scale shifting of curriculum over here. But I think by and large it's still a very impressive building to, to, to look at and to be in. I think we need to improve upon how students access social spaces and look at systems which enable them to use different kinds of spaces in their own time rather than all sort of crowd together during lunch times and break times. I think that could be improved. The college are looking at a number of strategies to, to help that, one of them being allowing students to access rooms, specialist rooms at lunch times as workshop spaces. The critical issue there is make sure, making sure they're safe and we're looking at graduate internships so people will be able to monitor and support students in those spaces so that's a, a strategy. Other things left to do are issues around heating, some of the rooms are still a bit warm or still a bit cold etc and then some specialist spaces particularly creative arts there are some issues around resources which are not yet set up properly but uh, we're all on the case and, and working hard to improve that. The college is in a healthy position financially. We we did well out of selling St Paul's. Obviously Tesco's are demolishing that as we speak. And we also did well out of the, the recent lowering of the tax rate, which meant that the college could take advantage of a reduced VAT. We're pleased to say that for about 10-15% more students than the previous year, which is healthy. I've been over several times with a hard hat and boots on and you know it looked like a building site. I could see the potential um, architecturally it was quite dramatic. Um, but after the summer holidays when I came over here and was ready to just walk into and start teaching, it was very impressive um, and very dramatic and quite exciting. I think they've coped remarkably well considering that. But the staff as ever are the real heroes. I believe the keys were handed over at the correct date and the target date. But the 
stuff, as ever, are the real heroes. We just need to make sure that we use the space effectively. It's very nice, you know, it's a very nice campus. Boys will be boys and boys will be immature. The outside, it looks really impressive. <laughs>